Dice tomatoes. First time playing it here. Or get rid of it. Oh, oh bad. Alright. Um, game overview. Your objective is to earn the most points by seeding. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right. Your objective is to earn the most points by seeding, growing, and harvesting the best tomatoes. Roll dice from a bushel and distribute them in a way that benefits you best. Collect karma hearts for helping other players make a, make a good use of the rotten dice. Alright, so we got 44 dice, uh, red dice, 8 black dice, 12 tomato tokens, 4 red hearts, 4 player rats, and a last player token. Alright, find 2 to 4 players. I think it's uh, up to 6 on this website. Give each player a uh, mat, 3 tomato tokens, 11 red dice, 2 black dice, and a heart token. Have player place their heart token on heart three on the karma track. Place their tomato token in front of their player mat and roll a black die to decide who will go first. Nice. Uh, I'll probably just decide who will go first. The player with the highest number will start the game. The last player will receive the last uh, player token. Place all the dice to the side of the game area. This will become the bushel from which players will pick dice to roll. Turns and hands clockwise. All right, we have the glossary. A bushel is a common play, a common pool of dice. A tomato token is a red round token. A vine is a set of one to four dice attached to a tomato, either in a sequence or the same number. A rotten die is a black die that lowers the vine score by one point. Cannot be used as a seed die. And a karma heart is a red heart shaped karma token. All right, to get the best tomatoes, first seed a tomato token with the best die you can. Then grow that tomato by, by adding up to four dice to the vine, either in a straight sequence or, in the, or of the same number as the seed. Once the vine is completed, uh, has four dice, you can transfer the seed die onto the next open score slot on your player mat. You have to lower the seed value by one for each rotten die on the vine. Alright, you with me so far? Yeah. No. It's, tough. <laughs> it's, not, it's hard to, uh, it's just like way too much text and... Yeah. Yeah. I, I can like slightly hear an echo of myself when I'm talking, so it's like so kind of hard to concentrate. <laughs> Is it better now? Uh, yeah, it's good now. That's, yeah, a little better. Now. Right. I'm sure we'll get it when we play. Uh, yeah, there, there's not too many. There's not too much more. Uh, all right, oh, let's get some of this too. Um, all right, Karma Hearts, Tokens of Gratitude. When you complete another player's tomato, you receive karma points. The amount of karma depends on the value of the tomato seed from the completed vine regarding, regardless of the actual score the owner of the vine scores. Um, one or two gets one heart, three or four gets two hearts, five or six gets three hearts. Maximum karma. The, the karma you can handle tops at six. That is to prevent you from exploding from all that love. All right. The karma points can be used to alter your dice roll or to clear a low score tomato. Spend two karma points to change the value of a rolled die by one point up, up or down. Spend three karma points to clear all the dice uh, from one of your tomatoes. You can do that before or after you roll the dice from the cleared vine return to the bushel. Send four karma points to roll the roll over the value of a rolled dice from one to six or from six to one. 
Spend five karma points to shift any solitary seed dice by one point. Alright. Uh, sorry, we're almost. <laughs> A little bit more here. On your turn, any turned over tomato tokens are turned face up. Uh, two, pick and roll three dice from the bushel, including any dice passed from the previous turn. Nice. Uh, three, spend hearts to improve your situation. See spending karma for details. Four, place individual dice either on an empty tomato or add to any vine, including your opponents already in play. You must place the die there if there's a spot for it. Five, you, if you compete opponent's tomato vine, they immediately, they immediately score points. Transfer their seed dice from their completed vine, uh, their score track on their player mat, and turn off the completed tomato token until the beginning of the next turn. And you earn card points, which can be used immediately. Any vine with a value of zero or less is cleared, and all dies from that vine return to the bushel without scoring. But you still earn card points if completed. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty lost by now, but uh, I'm gonna hold on to it. We're almost there. All right. Any yeah, I'm sure it'll be pretty easy once we get started. Any dice for which you cannot find a place to add uh, to must be passed to the next player to uh, to include in their roll additional piece. Is additional dice. Uh, then you enter. Your now right, your score track. Transfer the seed dice from your completed completed vine to the next available space on your score track, starting with a space marked one. Flip over the tomato token of the completed vine until next turn. Completing the sixth tomato first scores the owner two victory points and triggers the final round of the game. The game ends with the last player, the player with the last player token, finishes their turn or immediately when there are no dice in the bushel at the beginning of a turn. The game's final round is triggered when the, la when the last tomato of any player is completed. The game continues until the player with the last player token finishes their turn. When the game ends, you add up your scores from the dice tomatoes on your player's mat. Additionally, you score two points if you are the first to complete the six tomato. One point for each two unused card points and one point each for each vine with three tomatoes on it. The player with the highest final score wins. Alright, and it says tiebreakers too. I'm, I'm just, I'll just read it there because I'm sure this, this site will read, you know, scores, whatever. Alright. Sorry, that took a little bit. <sighs> Seven minutes. Not, not too bad. Hell yeah. Game time. If you're like me, folks, here's how we do it. You just tune out while Travis reads directions. And then you scramble to figure it out really quick when we actually play. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go third, so I, you, you guys gotta tell me what. Let's do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Must add three die dice from the bushel to their hand. Okay, so you add three dice from the bushel to your hand, right? Uh, the, the rotten black dice can be used defensively and defensively. What about the red one? Oh, yeah. What are the yellow ones? <laughs> well, the sunny golden hybrid gold yellow are used to raise the value of the vine. Players can also use them defensively to cancel slash clear a tomato vine. If a tomato vine is worth more than six points at the end of the player's turn, the vine is overwrite and has to be cleared. Uh, so you want to make sure that you don't have more than six points on a vine. What? <laughs> what, what am I doing? You're adding the face to me? I must roll the dice. Okay. And then you put them on the bottom. Okay.
you probably can't add it to the presents yet because they don't have any tomatoes on their bottom. Let me read it. Yeah, blackface can only be added to a vine that can't be seen to this dice. Alright, so that was one turn, so we figured we figured it out at least, right? <clears throat> oh nice. Don't really try to see that. Oh. So what is yeah, what does seeding it mean and why do you what what type of dice do you want on the seed? Uh, I think you have to use a one to seed, but I also don't know. I also am not entirely sure what the. No, I think seed says seed dice, a dice that is placed on an empty tomato token, so I don't think it necessarily has to be number one. What did you do with your black thing? I gave it to you. Oh. You will uh, cancel. You got the. Yeah. Yeah. And then you gave me. Oh, it doesn't give you that option. You must add three dice from the bushel to your hand. You must roll the dice in your hand. So what? So what am I trying to do? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I, I think I think what you're trying to do is essentially what you're you're trying to get red or yellow dice in all of the centers of your tomatoes, and then you're trying to build out to read a certain number of points. The thing that I don't understand is that there are so many directions that like <laughs> I literally can't sit and just listen and understand. But uh, yeah. black dice is number nine in the directions. Yellow dice is number ten. If you, if you need to refer back, uh, it's not letting me put the yellow dice anywhere. So I'm trying to just click different places. You must place dice. Onto available vines. Uh, okay. I guess I'm just gonna click, start clicking all the vines, and hopefully it'll be a good one. <laughs> well, it's not going to any mine. Let's see, shift dice. That's weird. Oh, okay. You place all your dice. Okay. The other thing that I don't quite understand is that we've all lost points. <laughs> <laughs> In the heart meter. <laughs> Oh yeah, we all have terrible karma. Okay. The game is the gameplay is simple. On their turn, active players pick three dice from the bushel and roll them. All rolled dice need to be distributed, either placed on an empty tomato they seed or added as an ex to an existing vine. 
Dice being placed in their play area or on an opponent's play areas. Player er players are allowed to try to influence the active player's placement decisions. Dice that cannot be placed are passed to the next player as additional dice to roll. Completing opponent's tomato earns the active player karma. The number of karma earned depends on the value scored. What is it? What it has to? What it has to say? Yeah. What has? What it, 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 so you have to build. Vine. You have to build your vine in ascending order. Hmm. So like you and me are fucked. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense to have. Can we, we could probably move those, you think? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it develops. Or yeah, take get a black one and take it off. That's true. No. Ah. Help a brother out. You getting up too much this weekend? Uh, a lot of cleaning. Isn't being an adult great? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that. Got red, yellow, and black. I thought that was gonna. Well, when I put a black one on mine, it took it away. So I don't know. I did not. I did not do such a. That was not. Oh, How no. dare you! How <laughs> dare you! What are you, a chicken? I am. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. Offended and right. appalled. Are you a goblin? I'm still, I'm still, my, re my week was ruined by the V-Chess announcement. <laughs> yeah. I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would like to publicly appeal for, what happened to your mind? I cleared my mind. Oh, dang, girl. How'd you do that? You need to have at least four. Um, nice, so do you get points for that? You got two points? I have no idea. I'm not sure how this game works. <laughs> I think you got two. You got two points to the side over there. I don't think they've ever the people. I don't think they've ever planted tomatoes. So. <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking they've they diced them. them. I was thinking it would be fun to plant tomatoes in, in the in the in the when we pulled up the tomato uh, rose bush out of. Mm -hmm. Stick a couple slices in there. I love yeah. tomatoes. And yeah, well, it'll be cool enough for it, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Giving you karma because you're my best friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> uh, I, you're my wife. It's like a different level. I deserve some karma, too. You finished two already. So? How'd you roll four dice? Because you gave Oh, because I gave him one. That's right. Sorry. <laughs>
available vines. Yeah, what makes a uh, vine not available? What's up with that? It has to be, so you have a one, see? Yeah. Uh, so you can only go where there's a one or before a two. Since you have four, five, four, it needs to be either four or three. Oh no. My vine. It's So four completes a vine? I believe so, yeah. Four, five, or three, because it can go under, for example. I have three on mine. You got a point, yeah, look at that. What are these can stars here, there? too? Can you put it on there? Did you decide to lower the value of my line? Yeah, the black one lowers the value of it. Yellow one increases the value. Again? Trying to raise my karma, baby. Yeah, but like most of your points come from your. Sure, I can't, I can't. I can't. I can't. I wasn't. It wouldn't let me play the three on any of my vines. Ah, I wouldn't. That's the thing. I, I don't have any spaces that accept the three, so. That's where it gets uh, tricky, right? Sitting around dreaming of that life out in the country, playing my maters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was really funny. We, the, a lot of Chinese apartments in in the area that we live in have this ability where they have they have screens on the front doors. So you can like open up the front door, pull the screens to get like a cross breeze. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we, we opened up our front door and I uh, like had to do a little bit of work to fix the track for the screen but we were able to open it up and Spooky was really interested right because Spooky could finally see out the front door but uh, <laughs> but he couldn't he couldn't go out which is fine What was really funny is that uh, our, our neighbor came out, and whenever whenever the door is closed and Spooky hears the neighbors, he's always really, really curious. He's always like, oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> My goodness. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I could never put it there. What was really funny is that the neighbor came out when the door was open, and man, It's spooky, like, freaked out a little bit. I couldn't play it anywhere else. You could play on mine. Why would I do that? Yeah, you gave me a black die. Why would I do that? Put it on someone else's. Are you going to put it on mine? What the fuck, dude? You have plus six. You got a little star in that one. You got the first one. Yeah, like you've been giving me all the. Because it hasn't let me. Alright, alright. Thanks, you gave me three <laughs> bonus points. Yeah. Three bonus you points scored for matching sports is a lot more fun. You were sucking on people that did you appear with it. Okay, well, you know what? Next time. Spooky, why do you have a flappy little belly? Are you pernegging it? Ooh, because the wheel bangle. <laughs> Apple Alma placed their ducks. It's time to go, kids. What is the what is exactly is the point of karma? Like, do I get a bunch of extra points at a certain point? You can reroll things. Karma lets you reroll. And yes, I think you do get some points. Yeah, you get points at the end too. If you have that's what yeah. tomato farming. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had like, how does Alma have higher karma than me? I feel like I'm 
feel like I'm giving the most out of everybody. Place it on mine. Yeah, yeah. Or re roll. Yeah. Yeah, I want to re roll. I'm going to do that real quick. What the fuck? Okay, it said clear vine. I thought it meant, um, like, collect it. Uh -huh. No, but it, 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 it meant, meant like, like, literally clear it. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I, I'm glad you clarified that because I thought it meant the same exact thing, yeah. actually. Because they use that, that terminology of, like, clearing the vine. <laughs> Great. No. And not because I wanted to, I'll tell you what.
whoever whoever writes these rules clearly <laughs> has ever been a teacher because anybody who's ever taught knows how hard it is to write good instructions and uh, never ever are these instructions like good logical instructions for the most part I think that's my own personal opinion obviously but <laughs> Nice. Always risky to take three red, but then my wife won't be angry at me for giving her black bits. <laughs> Just help me finish my last line. <laughs> uh, Ask and you shall receive, child. What is the difference between clicking the arrow? tonight. Yeah. Cool. It's a tough one. What is, what is the, the difficulty rating up? Two out of five. Two out of five? Yeah. No, five out of five, fam. <laughs> no, it's just, it's not difficult, it's just unclear. That's what makes it difficult. Yeah. There we got it. Yeah. I'm still confused about a number of things, though. <laughs> 